This film is a collection of things going wrong, missed deadlines and failures. But boy, did I love it. I'm attempting to transform this beautiful, beautiful lump of wood. Wow, this is really heavy. <laughs> Into something pretty spectacular. It's autumn at our little thatched cottage in the Cotswolds. Everything is bathed in yellow this time of year. It's damp and the cold nights are rolling in. Oh God, it's going backwards. <laughs> now my wife is incredible. I would like to create something for her. She had mentioned getting a nice bath. They seem to be boring and rectangular. <coughs> and thousands of pounds. Surely I could make something better for a fraction of the cost. I must say, I think this is a bit ambitious. <laughs> Here's the tree trunk plan. On the outside, remove the bark, smooth it down, treat it with an oil and carve some designs into it. On the inside, carve out the centre to make a hollow space large enough for a human, build a wooden floor and glue it in place with epoxy. Now I've got some rules, it must be wooden. I must only use hand tools. I want to get better with them, and this is my chance. It must be cheap, ideally under 200 quid. And crucially, Amber must not find out. I've barred her from the back garden for a while. This is going to be a project of squeezing in an hour here and an hour there. Seemingly started on the windiest day of the year. Oh my lord! I don't find the time to make stuff much anymore. I mostly work behind a desk, which is exactly why things like this are really important to me. And this is not the best axe in the world, but we will make do with what we got. It also means I can be picky about how I build it. I can give myself rules, make it into a challenge, and put my enjoyment ahead of deadlines. And hopefully it won't take too long. Easier said than done. Right, time to get this thing on the move today. I've got a couple of hours before Amber gets back. I'm getting good at moving this massive thing. Maybe not. Come on, no. Yes. Got to get it off the nice patch of lawn, which is less nice now. And hopefully, I won't destroy our nice garden. Surprise, surprise. It's time for more chopping. I feel like I'm going to spend half my life chopping whilst I wait for the tool that I really need that I should have bought before. But I didn't. It's very odd, but doing the same thing for a long time is really lovely. Something that doesn't really require much thought. It's actually very satisfying. Therapeutic is probably the word. Wouldn't want to do it forever, and I might get bored of it. However, for now, it's lovely. And you're having a nice time, aren't you, Maddie? Because if every time a bit of bark flies off, you can play fetch with it. Is that why there's loads of pieces of bark here? Yes! Good boy. You're having fun. Good boy. Oh, Maddie, you're in there, are you? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Maddie is trying to play fetch whilst in the log. You can't see this. There he is. <laughs> He's also using the log as his den and the place that he keeps all of his favourite bits of wood. <laughs> He's collected them into a little pile. <laughs> it's coming off a bit more easily, actually. I 
think I've had a brainwave. I've just come up with an idea on how I can shape and make the floor for the tub. I'm not going to do any more cheating. That's my first time I've cheated because uh, turns out I'm not very good at scoring in a straight line. <laughs> but now, back to the hand tools. Exciting times, isn't it? A floor. Whoa! One lie always leads to another, and the rabbit hole of failure began. Well, I'm just back to axing the hell out of it. But I was about to pay a heavy price for it. Although I wouldn't know it for a few more months, the hours I had just spent toiling away was going to be for nothing. It's a new season, and therefore time for a new type of job on this log. That is smoothing the whole thing out. This should be quite a satisfying bit, actually, I think. I've got my, my Viking tool. Autumn has left us and winter has come. That's left us with shorter days, frosted mornings, and a lack of time around life and work. Honestly, I thought this ice bath would be done by now, but here we are, scraping away. To be honest, I think my positive outlook has failed me here. To think that I could in all honesty make this lovely thing with hand tools in just a few weeks was just plain mad. I had four rules when I set out, and now I've got to cheat. That's another rule out the window, and with it, my pride. I'm realising uh, how inefficient it is to do a job with zero plan, because I'm basically just taking it one step at a time. So I did all this work to smoothen this side and start to chip away at this top ring to get the uh, drum deeper into it. And I realised obviously it's too tall, so I'm going to have to cut it down. And I'm going to cut it down. <laughs> And get rid of all that work I've done. Not my finest hour. Maybe it will work. I know there's no easy way to say this, it's nearly April. I am embarrassed and ashamed that I am still here working on this log. Whoa. I've just played a local hockey match and now I'm about to jump in a bin. Oh, Ooh, it's a bit stuck and we're miles away. But the big problem is this thing is absolutely wedged. It will not go in further. It will not come out at all. I honestly thought it was just going to be so easy. Didn't we, Muddy? and it's turned out to be the most challenging, time-consuming, annoying thing we've ever done. Isn't that right? Paul, come on, let's go. I've taken a brave and probably stupid decision. All throughout the build, there's been this little crack which has slowly widened and widened and widened. So I'm gonna use it to my advantage. I'm gonna split it on purpose the whole way, which I think it's gonna do anyway, to get this thing lower, because I don't know how I'm gonna do it otherwise. This is definitely a I'm fed up of trying to get this blue thing in 
plan, so I'm just trying anything. Kill or cure? I will finish this today. It has taken a lifetime of hammering, chopping, and scraping. But I don't care if it breaks me, I'm gonna finish this today. And I do have a plan to make it pretty. I am very excited to see if I can do some 17th century carving the same year as when our house was born. Born, built, Jacob. Also, I've got Anglo-Saxon numerals for Amber. And it is a present for Amber, after all. I've got my mallet that I've made out of a bit of apple wood. I have had the complete opposite day to every day I've had for the last month. Predominantly being behind a desk. Which translates to, I have had the best day ever. Lean on the oil with your nice jeans that you should have changed into painting trousers. Don't tell Amber about that one. Okay, anyway, back to the exciting thing. One of the last stages is nearly done. It's a bit rough. We are towards the end of this never-ending project. And I've got to say, it is looking <laughs> so much better than I thought it would. And I am a happy, 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 ecstatically excited man. Making it really pretty plan. Hazel. Muddy, drop it. No. You really think you're gonna play fetch with this? Muddy, Muddy. <whistles> Leave it. Drop it. Leave it, Muddy. Leave it. Well, it's late in the day. And I don't think it would be appropriate for you to see it this time. The big reveal will be tomorrow, and the day that I actually introduce it to Amber. The end of a project can be bittersweet, but when you've gone over schedule by about six months, been forced to cheat by reusing an old plastic barrel, and having to tell your wife the giant tree trunk that has ruined the garden is supposed to be a surprise for her, the end of this project was just plain old sweet. I'd broken every rule I had set myself 
to create something that looks like a weird Viking throne that was irritatingly impractical to get into and out of. But hey, she likes it, and it just gives me more of an excuse to spend some more magical evenings tinkering and improving my little project. I can definitely fit in. God knows how I'm going to get out. <laughs> I've had a great time failing, so I may as well embrace it and keep going. <laughs> no.